hey there hey there thank you for clicking my video in today's video i'm doing a wig show and tell on a wig that was sent to me from here supply shop the website link for this wig and their direct store will be in the description box if you're interested the wig that i have today is Otre perfect hairline synthetic lace front wig in the style galora and the color is color two Here's a close-up of inside of the wig cap construction. It comes with a 13 by 4 parting space. Behind the parting space, you get two combs, another comb and nape area with adjustable straps. They also inserted an elastic band so it can help give you extra secure snug fit. This wig was made on a breathable cap. I would say a ventilated cap. As for the lace, it is coming off very light on my skin, but y'all already know. I'm going to try my best to tend it to my skin color. And as for the hair texture, it is silky. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. Here's a close up on how the hairline comes. It comes very lightly pre-plucked. I wish they plucked it some more. You get baby hairs on the hairline. And remember, this is a synthetic wig, so the knots do not come bleach and you cannot bleach the knots. The style of the wig that I'm aiming for with this wig is a right side part. Now I'm gonna go in with my end is hot comb and the temperature setting I have it on is number five. I'm just gonna go in and press down that parting space so it can lay more to the right. And I'm gonna go in and smooth out the hairline as well. I like going in with the hot comb first because it helps me see what's already plucked. So after I go in with the hot comb and I see how much hair is plucked from the hairline, now I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and part a section of hair by the forehead because I mostly just want by the forehead plucked. I would want the sides of the front to have plucked as well, but it's not that much lace on the sides. So when I bring the hair in the front, I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm just Plucking, plucking, plucking. I'm attacking that dark line. Like I'm thinning it out and I'm making it more jagged and I'm moving my hands around in different spots so it can pull out the knots. If you do try this technique, be sure to comb out the shedding hair. And I'm just gonna keep plucking and plucking until the front gets thin. After I'm done plucking the front, I'm just gonna put the hair back now and I'm gonna take my tweezers and pluck the hairline again. I'm mostly attacking the dark parts that's really thick and dense that's in the frontal with the tweezers. And I'm just plucking, plucking, plucking. Now I'm going to spray some of this Simply Stylin Light Silk Spray to help calm down the frizziness. Now I'm gonna cut off the extra lace in the front because we do not need it. So I'm going in with eyebrow scissors. First I cut off the lace behind the air tab. Then I pull back the baby hairs and I cut right along the hairline in little zigzag motions.
Underneath the lace, I applied Maybelline Fit Me Powder, but only to the spots that will be showing. So that's the parting space and hairline. Hey there, hey there. And I know something is a little different today. I wanted to try out some new lashes. I saw this little lash trend going around. I think these lashes are so cute, but I'm really not sure how I feel about it on me, but we go still continue this wig show and tell. So here's a close up on the hairline and the hairline is still coming off a light on my skin. So to help fix that, I'm gonna go in with this NARS foundation. And I'm gonna take one small pump of this and pump it on the paper towel. Then I'm gonna take my makeup brush and smudge some of the product onto the paper towel and then wipe the rest of it on top of the lace on the hairline. The baby hairs that came on the wig by the forehead, I plucked those out because I don't need it for the style that I'm going for. And so far with nothing on this lace, no product to help melt it in, it blends in lovely with my skin once I got it to match my skin tone. Now I'm taking this bedhead hardhead spray and I'm spraying one layer of this spray on top of the lace by the air tab to my temple. If you want, you could go in and install the whole hairline yourself, but because I'm doing a wig show and tell, I'm just keeping this video simple. Now I'm gonna go in and style my baby hairs. Now I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me powder again and apply some of this powder on top of the lace to the parting space and hairline. This helps the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. It also help hide the grids and knots on the lace. I wasn't really feeling how the curls was looking, so I went in with the paddle brush and brushed it out again, but then it ended up becoming too frizzy for my liking, so I went in with that silicone spray again and lightly just missed the hair and brushed it out. All right, you guys, so right here is my end results, and where do I even start with my thoughts on this wig? When I was styling the wig, I got zero tangling, but I did get shedding, and I honestly know a lot of my shedding came from me plucking the hairline because I plucked a lot of hair from the hairline, but I had to because that hairline was just a little too thick for my liking. I don't really like how after I brushed out the curls, like the hair got super frizzy. It was still cute, but I reviewed a lot of Otre wigs before and it's plenty of times I went in with the paddle brush and brushed out the hair and then the curls came right back. This one was acting real stubborn, but I like how when I split the hair in the back, there isn't any tracks showing and you can't see my wig cap. The length of the wig, I would say is about 14 inches and my height is 5'6". Like I said before, the hair texture is on the silky side. As for the lace, the lace looked great. I don't even have any 
hair product to melt in the lace on my forehead and it's just sitting there looking like scalp. As for the cap size, this wig is big head friendly. My head circumference is 22 inches. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later you guys.